Now we review She-Hulk Episode 5. Mean, green, and straight poured into these jeans. Really? <sighs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard, this is Random Street Theater, and my special guest today is D'Artagnan. Because he just, just will not uh, leave me alone for this uh, review. But I am, of course, reviewing the fifth episode of She-Hulk because my friends won't let me watch uh, House of the Dragon until I finish watching She-Hulk and reviewing it. Before I go any further than that, let me remind you that for every thousand subscribers I get, I do purchase one of these bracelets from 4Ocean. 4Ocean then pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. So if you'd be so kind as to comment, like, and subscribe, you'd be doing your part for a better world. And you'd be helping me pay for D'Artagnan's medical expenses, because he needs to have his balls lopped off. Alright, so... In the last episode, uh, Is This Not Magic?, we learned that a superhero influencer of cheapness and tackiness has gone out there and copyrighted the name She-Hulk, and they are now selling products and telling She-Hulk she can't be She-Hulk. She-Hulk has since embraced the name She-Hulk, so it's kind of a difficulty for her to stop going by She-Hulk because, well, she wasn't the one that came up with it. This is one of those episodes where, basically speaking, She-Hulk is forced to humiliate herself to um, uh, make things right. And, you know, it, it, what comes into play is the fact that she created a dating profile as She-Hulk, you know, and it's, you meet all the, the dinguses that she dated as She-Hulk again, and they talk about how dingus they are, and, you know, this has got to be really embarrassing. So basically what it is, is if you had a bag of um, dirty dingles, and, you know... You told the, the She-Hulk she had to eat that bag of dirty dingles, and she said no, then you rubbed it in her face. Yeah, um... I guess what's going on is they're expressing the fact that it's hard for a woman to be a professional in the modern world. You know, this is sort of a girl power and ain't that easy episode. And, I mean, I can understand that. I can get behind that. It's a little hard for me to relate. But, um, you know, hey. I have, I have used our world's version of that dating app. And I can tell you that most of the women that, that swipe, swipe right on me uh, swipe right because they're hoping I'll go to their Instagram. And that's upsetting because you know they'll they'll not uh, keep talking to me anyway so yeah look this episode was reasonably entertaining it wasn't great i would say that if you can relate to the topic you should definitely watch it if you cannot relate to the topic you might pass this and not really care but uh hey you know I think this show was mostly pushing towards the female Marvel fan demographic. And, you know, that's kind of a slimmer category than most. You know, this character is not as empowering as, say, Black Widow. It's not as eye candy as Black Widow. Uh, really. Anyway... If you want to see a strong woman get raped over the coals, this is this is your this is your jam. If not, give this one a pass. I'm Richard. Yeah! Ah! Hairball. Ah! Hi, folks. Randall the Rat here, reminding you once again to comment, like, and subscribe because this channel will buy a bracelet from the company Four Ocean for every thousand subscribers. And when they do that, that means that they'll pull a pound of trash out of the ocean. Now, you humans have put a lot of trash in the ocean, and we need to get a lot of trash out of the ocean. So not only should you comment, like, and subscribe, but you should probably share this with your friends. 
or I'll eat you. I might eat you anyway because I'm a rat that loves to eat people, but hey, comment, liking, and subscribing means I'm less likely to eat you.